Hey guys, what's going on? It's this kid and today we're just going through the rest of the mining farm spot videos. I have 10 spots for you and I have a little bonus one at the end. This time it's going to be for Orichalcum. So Orichalcum is going to be used for literally the best items in the game. There are no better tools than Orichalcum tools. You can also get rare drops such as Void Ore, which is used to build the best armor in the game. So considering that Orichalcum is used for the best items in the game, it's also very, very hard to get, and not only that, it's hard to farm over and over and over. Typically, you'll need a big group. There are a lot of 60 plus elites in the areas that Orichalcum is found. So for that reason, I've included a couple of videos in the description, and those are gonna go through specific farms in this video. There are tricks to reset enemies. There are tricks to get behind nodes so that they can't attack you or they bug out in some sort of way but take a look at those i'll reference you know which video is for which farm and so forth but yeah let's get on with the 10 farming spots for aura calcum so the first one and this is actually my favorite this is in central even scale reach right behind the settlement you go into the den of the lions there and then you're going to go through the rest of the shrine the den with the lions is going to have a ton of orichalcum, so make sure you go there first. And then on from there, I think there's two or three nodes within the shrine. So just follow that path, and you're going to come out at the top here. You're going to go east and head to this other shrine. And that's going to have probably five or six nodes as well. And then you loop back around. It should be right around 30 minutes or so, so hopefully the nodes inside the den are reset. But yeah that'll be the even scale reach farm the next farm that we have here is going to be a very very low effort farm it's going to be in southwest reek water it's going to be very very easy there aren't really a lot of mobs in the area you're going to want to go to the bottom portion here there are kind of three dots that you want to hit right by the beach and then right at the tip of the grass right there there's going to be one more node so you can farm those for a while if you want, you can just sit there. But the reason I have it going all the way to the top here is there are also two nodes right at the tip of this route at the northern tip. So if you want, you can go up there, farm those, and by that time, you can come back down, hit those two caves, and the rest of the orichalcum should be back up. The next farm is gonna be in North Morningdale. The reason that this is so long is because you want to hit that eastern part. That's kind of like a shrine in a way. You want to go into there, farm all the stuff in there, and then you're going to go all the way west, follow that path, and then hit the other shrine there. The only orichalcum on this route is going to be at those two shrines, so make sure you go to those. The next farm is going to be in South Eden Grove, right on the tip of the map there. You're going to want to follow that path around, and that's gonna be all the orichalcum in the area. There isn't too much, but this is a good kind of quick spot to hit if you are headed somewhere else. Okay, so the next farm is gonna be in Western Shattered Mountain. It's gonna be a place called Ambusty Inferior. Now, this is a place where you've seen a ton of chest runs and different things like that on YouTube. It has a ton, a ton, a ton of orichalcum. And the best video that I could find that goes through pretty much all the orichalcum in the area is Archon0925. Um, links in the description, but watch it, pay attention, and you're going to get a ton, a ton, a ton of orichalcum if you go through the entire route and you don't die, basically. So this next spot is going to be in Southwest Even Scale Reach. It is a big shrine you're going to want to follow all along the mountainside. Make sure you cross the bridges to the little islands at the top and bottom, but you should also get a ton of orichalcum here as well. The next spot is going to be in Western Great Cleave. Now this is going to be an elite area, so you may have to get someone to help out. Um, I don't know if it's soloable unless you bring someone along or if you're very geared, but pretty straightforward. You're just going to go anywhere inside of this area. It's all going to have War Calcum for the most part, and there is a bunch of it. So this next farm is going to be kind of an alteration of the first farm on this list. 
it is instead of going from the shrine behind the settlement to the shrine at the bottom of this route you're going to go to the shrine from the bottom of this route to the shrine at the top if you want to you can kind of do a triple version of that and go to each shrine separately to try and farm that um, it should help out with spawn times and different things like that so you could try it out if you want but a lot of people will go from just shrine to shrine so the next farm is going to be in central shattered mountain there is basically kind of like a ravine without water you're going to follow along that path and there shouldn't be too many elite mobs so you don't really have to worry about that but if you are undergeared or you're wearing light armor or something like that, be careful. Just uh, watch out because there are a lot of groups of mobs and they may take you out if you're not careful about that. The last route is going to be in North Shattered Mountain. It's a place called Mirkgard. Um, there are a lot of elite runs that happen here. A ton of people are forming groups and just going through killing as much as they can. For that reason, it is something that may be heavily contested in your server. Keep an eye out for it, but also try and get into some groups and see if you can find some more Calcum here, because there should be a ton for everyone. This last farm here, I just wanted to post this kind of like a bonus. So the reason for that is there is a spot at the bottom of this route and a spot at the top of this route where there's a few nodes. And it looked like when I was going through the resource map in the middle of this farm, there should have been only one node. So it didn't look like that good of a farm, but looking at a video by Sethvir, and I'll post this video in the description, he goes through the entire farm in the middle there where there's only supposed to be one node, there's actually seven. So even if you just wanna go over there, farm all those seven and just have a good time, you could do that and uh, you should get a ton of aura calcum as well. But take a look at that video. He goes through the whole thing. There are some tricky things that you need to do at the end, but overall, very, very good farm as well. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Again, the reason I'm doing this is in case one of these farms is taken, you can go to a different one and just have a blast at the other one. But yeah, if you liked the video, you appreciate it, give it a like. Or if you want to see more, you could subscribe, all that fun stuff. But besides that, you guys have a good rest of your day.